everyone, in this video I'm going to cover how to create variations by uploading a CSV file. First, create a batch, click the upload button. If you're inside an eBay batch, you'll get this question. First is, do you want to download the generic template or the category specific template? Go ahead and download the generic template. Click the download button. I've already pre-filled that template with some data that I'm going to walk over with you. So what we are going to do is to create a variation for a sock and a shoe. What I've done here for a sock, it's I've given the parent SKU, you've got your parent listing that contains the variation. I've called it my sock and then give it a title and go to the variation specific columns. There is a different variation specific columns in the CSV file. Variant SKU, this is where you can type in the SKU for the variant. In this case, I've named it my sock underscore red underscore six dash nine because I want that to be the size. And what you do is you go into the variant option one, type in the name of that specific variant. In this case, that would be color and then the variant, which is red. And then the other option is size. I'm selling this sock in the red color and it sizes 6 by 9. That's one variant. Now I have the same sock available in different variant, which happens to be a blue color in size 8 by 12. So I've set the variant option name as color with color blue and the variant option 2 with size 8 by 12. I'm also selling the same sock in another variant, which is green in size 6 by 9. Then I have options for those as well. Color green, size 6 by 9. What you want to do is fill this out and then you want to make sure that you have the same parent SKU for all three combinations. My sock, my sock, my sock. Because they belong together, this gives you the same parent SKU. This is how the system knows that you are creating a variation. They belong together because they have the same SKU, give them their own quantities, 5, 2 and 3, give them their own prices, the title, you just have to specify for the first one. Now I can upload this file. The nice thing about CSV file is that it can contain multiple variations. For example, I'm also selling shoes. I'm going Going to go into my variation let's say these are black shoes and the size is 9 my color is black and my size is 9 then I can do the same thing maybe I have the same available also in brown in size 10 so color brown size 10 you can have up to four different variation combinations for example, if you were selling ties, then you might have color, pattern, material. You could have up to three in case of ties, for example. Here, I'm going to give them the same parent SKU, my shoe, then again my shoe, and then I can give them quantities they have. Let's say I have two of these and I have three of these. Give it a title, my cool shoes, and give it your price, how much you are selling it for. Let's say 99 and 109. Now you can still fill in the rest of the columns. I'm just not doing it for this demo, but you can still do it if you have UPCs, you can go and populate it in here. We have ASINs that you want to provide, you can go and get that populated here as well. Same thing applies to any CSV file, the data that's missing will be automatically fetched when possible and the data that you will provide will be used if it's inside the file, we will use that data. Let me save this file. Here we've got our two different products that are being stored as variants sock and the shoe. I'm going to go back and here click next, choose file and upload my file. As you can see, it created the two products, my cool shoes and my cool socks. If I click on them, I can see my variations. For the shoe, we had created a color and the size black and brown color size 9 and 10 they are with my prices and my quantities and the same thing with the socks i've gotten my different options and i had specified the different prices and quantities one thing i did not cover is you could go and manually add images or you could actually include the images if you happen to have the urls for the images you can actually include the images for each of the variations as well inside the images column i hope that it was helpful if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us, sign up for our 14-day free trial, set up an onboarding call and follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.